Hi hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Frontiers. Uh, so yeah, last time out we were continuing to unlock more of the map. Uh, we're doing the same thing here. <laughs> we're pretty much just, um, I'm just pretty much at this point going through and unlocking the map. Um, because that's pretty much all we have to do now. Just unlock the entirety of the map. Uh, and then once the map is fully unlocked, uh, then I can get the Chaos Emeralds. And that'll be it. Because at this point, um, I think off, off camera, off, <laughs> off camera, but you know, in my own time, I <laughs> went out of my way and basically got all the tokens that I'm ever going to need. So once the story sections kind of pop up as um, usable, is you know I can go to them immediately then that will be pretty much it I can just go straight there and not have to worry about it um, but I want to unlock all the map first in fact today while I was recording uh, I just finished recording today the uh, final part so yeah it's the game is fully recorded <laughs> I just need to put my commentary on it but um, yeah I actually m for the first time I maxed out Sonic <laughs> So I maxed out. I maxed out his stats. So uh, I got maximum ring bonus. Um, sorry, maximum uh, maximum ring capacity and maximum speed. And, oh my god, it's so fucking cool and fun. Oh shit! I, yeah, I hate it. this guy is a real pain for this part in particular, where he just disappears. Uh, reappears and attacks once and then disappears again. He does this, I think, yeah, three times um, and then he stops. Uh, but the problem is you can't really attack him while um, he's doing that, so it's, really, it's very time-consuming. But yeah, basically when you max out Sonic's um, speed and ring capacity, he basically gets infinite boost at full speed is like fucking ridiculous how quick Sonic can go <laughs> when you max everything out. Which of course I did by going into the uh, the fishing area and just buying all of the Cocos. <laughs> but anyway, so we're continuing on. We're just uh, opening up more of the map. Yeah, at this point I think I was just just wandering off and just finding new areas to go to. Uh, we've already been there. Okay, so I think the next place we're heading to, if I remember correctly, is somewhere. What the fuck am I doing? Oh, I'm getting Cocos. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, there's a load of Cocos in this wooded area actually. They're just strewn all over the place. Um, but yeah, I think we're heading to get the next Chaos Emerald. I'm pretty sure that's what we're doing. I'm pretty sure that's what we're doing. Soon find out. <laughs> or it might be, um, the next story section. No, we need to get the Chaos Emerald still. So, I think that's where we're going. It's, you know, it's been a while since I recorded this, to be honest. <laughs> it's been a little while. <coughs> I am actually kind of amazed, you know, w w uh, with the fishing and getting all the items and stuff. Like getting all the uh, the, uh, the the friendship tokens in advance. It is amazing. Absolutely amazing how much quicker this island goes when you don't have to waste your goddamn time kind of trying to go all over the place looking for so much shit. Yeah, I was kind of thinking, okay, what do I do here? What am I looking for? Am I looking for something? And, oh, there we are. It's a wisp. So, let's get up to him, hold square, boom. They are so fucking easy to do, I don't really understand, really understand why they decided to go for that. But whatever. 
Yeah, the Cast Emerald is pretty close to our location, so I think that's where we're going to go next. Why am I doing this? Tom, pick up. There you go. I don't know why I'm... Actually, that's a point. Why the fuck am I picking those up? I'm at max strength and max defense. There's no real need to do it anymore. Aha. Ah, oh, shit. More of these wolves. Like I said, the first time I played these, uh, uh, did these, I couldn't for the life of me work out what I was meant to do. And once I worked, I was, I found out what you're meant to do. I was like, Jesus Christ, that's so fucking easy. It's so fucking obvious. So yeah, the second time I fought those guys, I would just absolutely destroyed them in no time whatsoever. I think it's just a habit at this point, you know? Picking shit up. I don't really need to pick anything up anymore, any of these items, but it's just like a compulsion. You know, of like, I've got to collect, there's more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? There's more, um, experience here. I've got to pick it up. I know I'm maxed out on friendship tokens, but I've still got to pick them up, bitch. <laughs> you know, it's that kind of thing. It's just like uh, an obsession. Looks like tails <coughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I didn't bother to... This is something else which I probably should have done, but I pr never bothered with. Um, there are optional conversations between the characters uh, that you have to talk to in uh, in on every island. Uh, well, on island 1, 2, 3, and 5. And... It basically it just gives you some back down, background knowledge about the island, about what's going on with the creatures, about what's happening with the characters that you're talking with as well. Um, but I never really bothered with it, and I still, you know, got the context of what was going on in the world and stuff like that. So I don't. Th it's not strictly necessary. It's just nice little additional context if you want it. But yeah, I really didn't bother with it up until Island 5 when I decided, ah, well, if she's there I'll talk to her. If not, <laughs> then I won't bother, but yeah. Let's head into the next cyberspace level. And this one I honestly can't remember whether it, how hard this one was or not. Yeah, this does a similar, um, this one is very... I think this is an original, an original level design, but it's very inspired by um, SA2. A lot of grind rails uh, and these, you know, switch these things which kind of, these pulleys which kind of go up and then go up and then down. Which I think, I can't remember which uh, level it was. Uh, I think it was Green Forest. Fuck. Shit. I think it was Green Forest. Oh, this one took me a while. Shit, what am I doing? <laughs> um, yeah, this one took me a while. But, yeah, I think it was Green Forest in SA2. Please, Tom. Why did that take you so fucking long, you piece of shit? <laughs> You're no gamer, you shit. <laughs> anyway. Oh. Shit. Yeah, I actually didn't notice that, you know? That you can see them... You can see the... Ow. You can see the, uh, re uh, re the red ring there as, you went, uh, as, as I was going up. It's kind of cool. Uh, also, yeah, this this one I actually really like. It's a lot of fun. Oh, actually, this this section here reminds me of a, l a level design that was used in Sonic. What am I doing? What am I fucking doing? There you go. Uh, sorry, that remind that bit of level design there reminded me of Sonic Forces, which is. Not really a good thing, if I'm being honest. 
I tell you what, it's interesting. I went back to that game after playing Frontiers for a while, and holy shit, that game's bad. <laughs> that game's so fucking shit in comparison to, to you know, after having played Frontiers for uh, several months. It's just, it's, oh my god, Sonic Forces is such garbage. <laughs> the level design is so fucking bad. But anyway, yeah. As time has gone on, that game has uh, uh, sucked more and more for me. You know. I guess it kind of helps that Sonic Frontiers has some actually really good level design. On top of it being a more unique kind of game. Boom, and now we can open up get uh, the next Chaos Emerald. Yeah, I th this is also something else. I think this is the first one where you... The first island where you get six Chaos Emeralds instead of getting five. Uh, no, that's not right. What the fuck am I talking about? You get six anyway. Um, but the last one you don't get from the... What's it called? The Titan? Uh, instead, you get it from... Uh, you get it in another way. I won't say it just yet. Why am I fighting these guys? Yeah. <sighs> what the hell? Fuck you. There we go. There we go. Dead. Yeah, these guys are a bit of a pain in the ass to fight, if I'm being honest. But yeah, dead. See, there's not really any point to fighting these guys anymore. They just drop shit, which I don't need. <laughs> But once again, I think it's just like a habit. It's just like, oh, enemies. I should kill them. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's just my mindset. Yep. Come on. There you go, Tom. Go to it. Right, it's time to unlock more of the map. <sighs> I'm getting more Cocos. Well, I do need them, to be fair. Boom. I can't remember how many tries this took. I think it's... I think I did it in one try. Yeah, I had to think for a little minute there. <laughs> but yeah, got it on my first attempt. Nice. Ah, uh, yes, another seed, which I don't fucking need. Alright, moving on. But I need to do these anyway to open up more of the map. There we go. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think this is me just thinking, okay, so what am I going to do now? And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going, I'm taking my time with going as to the Chaos Emeralds. I think I just had this attitude of, uh, like, okay, I've got to go, f let's just get the map sorted out first, and then I can get the Chaos Emeralds after. I think that's what I was thinking about. Oh, more music. What that? It doesn't matter. Ah, oh, such a good track. Tom, what What the fuck am I doing? Just jump. It's like I've got tension deficit disorder. <laughs> you know, it's just like, oh, a shiny thing over there. Stop. Why am I picking these up? Right. Let's still not more of the map, shall we? Yeah. I remember... Yeah, but this one... Oh, shit. This one... Uh, this one has a decent amount of time. Um, gives you a decent amount of time to do it. So you don't really have to worry about... Going super mega fast. Um, just as long as you... You know, you can get it done pretty easily. And I can't, I can't get this Chaos Emerald yet. That's kind of annoying. Oh well. 
So yeah, can't get this one yet. I need another seven things. Uh, keys. Uh, so what was I doing at this point? Was I just thinking... Yeah, I think I would... You know, honestly, I think at this point I was just thinking... I don't know what I was thinking. I think at this point I was just thinking, like, fuck it. Let's go get the Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> and then we can get the... Let's go get the two Chaos Emeralds I can get. Uh, and then I can move on and uh, I can unlock more of the map as I go through. Why did I do this? It's again one of these things when you're watching it, when you're playing it, it's like you don't really notice the amount of messing about <laughs> that I do. But when you're watching it, holy shit. It's like I'm taking a fucking eternity. But there we go. That's the Red Cow Emerald got. I think that's Chaos Emerald number three. Okay, so now we need to find Sage. Hi, buddy. Yeah, no thanks. Uh, I thought I could get something out of him, but yeah. <coughs> Nothing really. I didn't want to... I could only use him to kind of trade... Um, for ring capacity from speed, so it doesn't really mean anything at this moment in time. So yeah, now we're heading for safe. Oh, right, I remember what we're doing now. Okay, 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 okay. I remember now. So with this part, we basically need to go to Sage and she... Um, and there's a, a console, a computer console that we have to m mess with uh, in order to open up, in order to create a uh, bridge, and then once we've created that bridge, uh, we can then move on to, it's another part of the island for us to explore, so, yeah, we need to get this done and out of the way. Uh, weirdly enough as well, this uh, device mini-game that we have to do also prepares us for the true final boss of the game, if you believe that. Basically, there's a true final boss at the end of the game. Basically, if you play it on normal or easy, then the true fi that final boss right at the end of the game is just a one-button quick time event. You have to have it on hard if you want to have the full, complete uh, boss fight, which, uh, yeah, kind of sucks, but <laughs> whatever. So yeah, we've got more hacking to do, and yeah, this is what the true, this is preparation for the true final boss. Yeah, I'm kind of doing the stupid thing here, you just basically let them shoot at you, because it will power up your meter, um, so just shoot the main thing that you're trying to destroy and just make sure that you know you don't just keep shooting him and yeah yeah this is a real pain I'm not a massive fan of these but there you go defeated it uh, we did these as well. There was one of these that we did on uh, Tails' island, which is island number three. Um, so, yeah. Little did you know that that, m that, that mini-game in island, in I on island three would prepare you for the true final boss. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yep, so now it shoots the island across. Uh, which is kind of interesting because it's kind of the same, uh, uh, the same um, kind of, it's the same kind of um, uh, bridge which was created uh, right at the beginning of the game on Island One to get you to the main bulk of the island. 
We must acquire the Chaos Emeralds with expediency. You got it, Sage. <laughs> We've run into each other so many Yeah, times I think this is pretty much it now for our talks with Sage in, in terms of in order to complete the game. There are optional conversations. Sure it does. Uh, and so with this one, uh, so, you know, now at this point, this is the last kind of, this is the main thing, do you know what I mean? Like, uh, this is the last kind of story thing with Sage you have to do. Uh, so now it's just all about getting the rest of the Chaos Emeralds and, and, uh, unlocking the rest of the, uh, the island. Of course, you don't have to unlock the rest of the island if you don't want to, but yeah, I do. I've done it for all four of the other four, so I might as well do it for this one. Uh, so, yeah. <clears throat> hey, what have we got? Rooftop Run Remix, nice. Rooftop Run is a, re is a really good track as well. I love Rooftop Run. Oh. So, up we go. Why am I still doing this? <laughs> I think it's just habit. I just can't stop myself. There you go. Yeah, that's a bit of it. Uh, so now we need to climb this tower in order to get the next Chaos Emerald. And to be honest, this is pretty fun. I actually really enjoyed this one. Climbing up this tower, it's a lot of fun. Some pretty good... Uh, it's a pretty good... Um, Oh shit. There we go. You know, it's a pretty good uh, platforming challenge. And boom. Right, let's open you up. And I think this is Chaos Emerald number... Four? It's four or five, I can't remember. Thank you for the green emerald. The only one that is the same, the colour of a natural emerald. Which is kind of weird. So yeah, now, at this point, we don't have enough keys, so now we need to unlock the key, to get keys to unlock, uh, to unlock the next, uh, Chaos Emerald Shrine. So yeah, it's pretty much a straightforward path at this point. Unlock more of the map until it's 100% a lot. And, um... Get keys to unlock, get the final chaos emeralds, and then we'll be pretty much done. So yeah, it should be all around pretty quick. I'll be honest, I don't really know why they decided to do it like this. Why they needed these to be timed as well? I think you know you could have just left it as these as untimed. They're still they're still decently challenging. So there we go. More of the map is unlocked. But yeah, that's going to be it for this part of Sonic Frontiers. Join me next time um, when we're just going to be unlocking more of the map, and we've got to um, find the other spy the uh, find the other cyberspace levels uh, to get more keys, so that we can get more Chaos Emeralds. So yeah, see you next time.